Hi guys, welcome to Solar Integrations. Today I'm going to be doing a basic setup walkthrough on um, Gary Waterworth's integration of Home Assistant and the SunSync um, dongle. Um, there are going to be a few things that you need to check before we get going. Um, the one is that you have a SunSync dongle which looks like this. There are some, um, some of the SunSync converters did, well the earlier SunSync converters came with a Solarman dongle which I'm planning to cover in another video. Um, but for this one you will need a SunSync dongle and you will need your login details for the SunSync uh, website because we're going to be using those, we're going to be getting the data from the cloud and you will need your username and password and um, you'll need to just check what region you're logging in at um, if you've been using the dongle for quite a while you're probably region 1 but I know that they are encouraging people to go to region 2 now which is um, I believe going to have faster refreshes on it and it's uh, run by SunSync um, rather than the um, PowerView Elinter guys. If you want to double check which one you're logged in on, you can also go to the um, uh, pvinterlist.com site and log in over there. If you log in over there, then you're definitely region one. Um, you will also need a uh, version of Home Assistant installed, um, preferably the uh, either a standalone or uh, with Home System operating system, or um, but you are going to need to add some plug. Okay, so first thing we want to do is install Node Red. Uh, we'll go to settings, um, add-ons and add on store um, node red and we're going to install node red that'll probably take a few moments to install um, we're also going to be installing um, an SSSH which we will be using a bit later um, I'm not going to be covering um, views and uh, templates and stuff in this um, video, but I am planning to do that in a later video. So this is just going to be getting the data from, from the SunSync cloud into your uh, Home Assistant. And then the third thing we're going to be installing is a file manager, um, a file editor because we're going to be uh, installing a few uh, needing to make some changes um, when we uh, set up the, the, the plugins for for on Node Red. Okay so uh, Node Red is finished installing as has the file editor and the SSH terminal. Uh, we're going to have to do a few things in Node Red before we can use it. Um, in the configuration, we're going to have to put a credential secret in, and that's what uh, Node Red's going to use to speak to Home Assistant. Um, it can be anything that you make up, um, and we're going to switch SSL off, and then save that. And then if we go into info and we go start, we should be able to see it starting up over here. Um, and that should be started now. So if I go, I want it to um, show it in the toolbar and add the watchdog on so that it'll restart it if it, scra if it crashes. They need to open the web UI. Okay, so um, we need to install one pallet here for um, for Node Red, and that is so that it can 
transfer the information from Node-RED into Home Assistant. Um, uh, if we go to install, we should see it over there. Click install, install, and it'll install that node for us. Okay. Now, once we've downloaded the, um, I'll put all these links in the video description, by the way. Once we've downloaded the code here, you're going to download the zip file from Gary's uh, GitHub page. And if you go into, um, into that file and extract it, you go in over here and you'll see that there's a, a region one flows and region two flows. You're going to select the one which um, links to your uh, SunSync profile. So if you're region one, you obviously select region one. And then what we're going to do in Home Assistant is we're going to go to import and we're going to tell it the files that we want to import. Um, region one and we want to import the, the gather flow. Open that, import it. Okay. And there it is over there. The one thing that we're going to want to add onto this is the, um, the live token. Um, so that um, we can speak to, so we can put the data into Home Assistant. Um, you'll see that in the global configuration nodes. Um, has config. Let's have a look. Okay. So to get that token, we go to our uh, profile. We go right to the bottom of the page. We go there where it says uh, long-lived access tokens. We create a token. I'll call this one um, node red. Okay, it'll give us the token over there. We copy that token. And we go back to node red. It's lost my flows because I didn't save it. Okay, so let me just import it again. Import. In Node Red, you always have to deploy to um, to do to be able to. Uh, just want to delete this flow one. Okay. So if we're going to my global configuration nodes, has config, go in there, put my access token in over there, go update. Okay, that is my, uh, and then I want to deploy that as well so that it saves those changes. Okay, then what I'm going to do is go to my file over here again. Um, and okay okay so there we're finished with node red what we're now going to do is go back to our add-ons we're going to go into the file editor and we're going to start the file editor um, and i'm just going to get it to show that on the sidebar as well if i tick that it will um, show up over there Go open web UI and um, I want it, I want to edit my configuration.yaml file, which is this file over here. What I'm then going to do is go into my uncompressed, um, so there's the file I downloaded from uh, Gary's uh, GitHub, uncompressed it. Go in over here, I'm going to select either region 1 or region 2, depending on which region I'm logged, logging in on. Um, I'm region 1, so I'm going to just double click on that. And I'm going to, um, it's going to open up this uh, template. 
Now this will import in this template. This is all my settings that I'm going to be importing all the sensors that I'm going to be importing into our home assistant. You can customize these if you want to. Um, what I do need to do to get this to work is to put my uh, username in at the top over there and my password in over there. I'm obviously not going to do that right now. I'll do that in the edit and then I'll show you how everything works. So I'm going to select all of that. Control A to select everything. Control C. Bring it in to my home assistant. And I'm just going to paste that in the bottom over there. Okay. And then I'm going to save that. And I'm just going to go and put my own details in over there quickly. And um, then we're going to restart. Okay, so I've updated my details. I'm just going to restart this now. Restart. So my home assistant's restarting. And what it will do in Node Red, it's going to restart Node Red. Okay, let's restart it. It'll go and it'll query the cloud, get the serial number and everything off my inverter, put that in, and add all that stuff. If I want to create a new dashboard, dashboards, add a dashboard. I'm going to call it inverter dash. Okay, create. And if I now go to inverter dash, um, there are all my settings that it is reading from the SunSync cloud. So I know that it's pulling all that data across into um, into my uh, home assistant. And um, I see that it did pull my password over. I'm going to go and change that password anyway. Um, so there we go. That's it. And um, now we've got the data in. So that's uh, that's the start. I'm, I'm going to be doing some more videos with um, how to use this data once you've got it and um, other integrations that you can use, nice dashboards, that type of thing. So thank you very much for joining me.